Soccer fans, put on your cleats, tape on your shin guards. If you're sleeping, wake up! Yeah, you! It's time for America's wackiest, craziest, zaniest, and every otherest adjective I can think of. It's time for the hottest soccer show in the galaxy, the Soccer Sam Show. Coming at you, feel the kids! Yeah, hi, I am Soccer Sam, and uh, you're watching the Eddie Pope Show. <laughs> hi, I'm Carrie, and you are? George Clooney from ER. Yeah, you kind of look like him tonight. Nice little get up here. Thanks, this helps me hear better. I like the pink. What? So I like the pink. Huh? I'm just ribbing you. It work well. Okay. We're here at Tully's 1225 Jefferson Road every Monday night from 6 to 7 p.m. Come on in with your teams and say hello. And take me home, because I need a ride. Why? So I'm all tired. Look at my eyes, you're all puffy. But tonight's show is going to be great. We're going to go to Soccer Sam with the Buffalo Blizzard Report. And then Andy the Whiz Kid has a new invention. What kind of invention is it? I don't know, but I hope it makes me play better. It's a soccer invention. Hope the nets are bigger. <laughs> That's all I know. We're also going to go to Stacy with This Week in Soccer. And then we're going to go and take a look at the MLS Goals of the Year. Guess where all the MLS teams are? Where? They're in Orlando, practicing for the 98th season. Boy, they're lucky. Yeah, I want to go someplace warm. Aren't you going to Arizona soon? Yeah, but that's just a surf. You and surfing, that is a scary thought. Especially since there's no water there. Okay. Right. Anyways, let's go to Soccer Sam with the Buffalo Blizzard Report. The overweight lover's in the house. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. <laughs> Thanks, Baldy. Check this out. The Buffalo Blizzard versus the Montreal No Impact at the Marina in Buffalo. Minutes into the game. Philly, Superstar and Drake with a long bomb. Oh, hits the boards. Rudy's there to Jimmy Glenn to Rudy. It's in. Two to nothing. What a play. It was Philly, Superstar and Drake to Rudy to Jimmy to Rudy. It's in the net. It's two to nothing. Minutes later, they get a restart goal. And Rudy Dalskant with a three-pointer. Ah, that wasn't good. But look at this. Rudy off the board, it's loose for the Lobos, it's in the net, nice goal there, Alex Villalobos, two-pointer, it's four to three, nice soccer, and then Rudy off the board, check this out, look at his spin move, Dougie Miller, it's in the net, Doug Miller gets a goal here, it's six to three, what a sweet goal here, nice stuff, the goalie's rolling around, into the second quarter, Rudy picks to Doug Miller, to Valdez, to Rudy, it's in! Rudy, second goal, give me a hug! Look at this again! Nice stuff, back and forth! Well, Rudy Pick knows where to be, it's 8-3, to three. and then David Bank takes advantage of three goalies here! Nice pass from Randy, 10-3, to three. come on defense, wake up, go after the man, check this out! Three guys sitting in the goal with the goalie, having a little coffee, hanging out, unbelievable! Wow, it's 10-3, to three. into the third quarter here, Billy! Superstar and Drecky, what a kick save, nice stuff, and then, whoa, it's a rumble, it's a fight, no, he's just trying to fix his hair, I don't like your hairstyle, minutes later, Gene Harbour's going after the ball, oh, Armando Valdivia gets hit, gets into the board, gets slammed, it's vicious, it's extreme, no pads, no helmets, this is real, it's unbelievable, and Doug Miller gets a one point shootout goal here, wow, Takes the man out. Dougie celebrates. He's leaving the building. No, he's afraid of that guy. Gene Arbor, no, Doug. Come on back in. It's a one point shootout goal. It's 11 to 3. It's a blowout. The Blizzard are kicking it big time here. And still in the third. Randy runs the needle. Gets a one point power play restart goal. It's 12 to 3. And then Nick DeSantis takes a blast. What a save by Billy and Dreggy. That guy's like Superman. I love him. And then Rudy Dalskin takes down Armando again. This guy, they're going after him. He needs to put that spray on his body to keep the bugs away. Look at these guys. It's unbelievable. But they calmed down. Everything got back to normal. And then going into the fourth, Nassim Olave. Boom! Oh! Oh, wow. Now, see, Olave, I've seen the wax come out of his ears. Ouch, that hurts. 
Doug Miller gets the one point shootout attempt. It's in the net. 13 to 1. And nine minutes later, Bobby Denungio is in the 1998 NPSL All Star game. This is why he takes a pass from Armando Valdivia. It's a left footed, no problem. 14 to 3. Nick DeSantis gets two goals late in the game. Two minutes left. Nobody cares. Who cares, Nicky, baby? Don't worry about it. We burned your bed. And look at us. Billy with the long ball here. A header to Rick Titus. A shot. A Rick Titus again. The newest blizzard. It's in the net. Rick Titus puts the game away. 16 to 7. The Buffalo Blizzard destroyed the impact. After the Blizzard game, I took the soccer sand bus to Detroit to scout out the Detroit Rockers and my buddy Fuzzini. They got killed by the Baltimore Spirit. 22 to 12. Bo Vukovic of Baltimore. Six goals and assists. The Blizzard play. Pato Marhedic and the Rockers three more times. February 22nd at home. March 15th in Detroit. March 28th in Detroit. We got to go down there. Detroit's 11 17 right now. But with the Dennis Bros in the lineup, anything can happen. I'll see you at the marina. Wow, I love going to Buffalo Blizzard games. Have you ever been to one? Of course I did. I took a picture with the cold. How about you, Jeremy? Have you been to one? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was real fun. We lost the travel soccer team. Good. Good time. Buffalo Blizzard, you're doing awesome. Keep up the good work. They have won the past six games in a row. Now let's go to Andrew the Whiz Kid at Rochester Sports Garden. You can say the darndest things, don't play. Andy the Whiz Kid here with an unbelievable soccer moment. I'm with Chris Yule, and he has invented a way to make soccer goals more net accessible. Chris, tell us about it. Well, going back in my, in my career, I was a coach, and uh, what we did is I went to a field one time, and all the nets were destroyed by vandals. This kind of put a hampering on it because the referee won't change the soccer location that the game is going to be played. We had to take my team, run to a field, actually confiscate nets off another field, and put them on our home field that the game was going to be played at. After the game, I thought to myself, there's something that has to be done. We have to kind of like get something going here so we can take the problem away from the Vandals, but still be able to play the games at the field. Uh, I started creating something, and unbeknownst to me, I was able to make this thing work on paper. After I made it work on paper, I went to metal firms, uh, machine shops, different areas like that, and had these people take my prints and build me parts. After I got the parts, I assembled it in my basement. I have a full operational unit mounted on the wall in my basement to where I would work out all the bugs. And here I am today. I have a U.S. patent on an invention that I have made to aid the remote locations at high school, college, and professional levels. Wow, that's huge, Sammy. I can't wait till I get one of these goals in my backyard. We'll be right back with This Week in Soccer, Buffalo Blizzard lesson, maybe a Buffalo Blizzard interview, and my favorite goals of 1997 MLS. We'll be right back. Kick it! I like it. Alex, you gotta tell me, who's got the best rollerblades in town? Locker room. Locker room Schwartz? Yes. Who's got the best soccer stuff in town? Locker room. Locker room Schwartz? Yes. Who's got the best hockey stuff in town? Locker room. Uh, locker room Schwartz? Yes. Who's got the best goalie stuff if you're a goalie and you want to be a goalie and you want to get the gloves and the jerseys? Locker room. Locker room Schwartz? Yes. I mean, this, this, the locker room's got everything. What's your name of the place? Locker room. Locker room Schwartz. You heard it from Alex. This kid knows. Look at the camera there. Locker room Schwartz, Ridge Road West. Go see Alex there. If you love pizza, give me five, five dollar pizza from Salvatore's. Give it five. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, stop. Listen, that was a great ad, but there's so much more to Salvatore's. Yeah. 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 Hey, what about our full menu delivery? We have pasta, pizza fingers, chicken fingers, potato skins, traditional large pizzas. What about our spotless clean stores? Best subs in town. Also set up and go catering. Salvatore's! Naira Trophy slogan take 27. <clears throat> Naira Trophies, because certificates are for losers. Uh, Ed? Yeah, Dave. That's not the slogan. It's not? No, Ed. But it's the truth. 
When you put your blood, sweat, and tears into winning something, you want some hardware. I mean, have you ever heard of a bowling certificate? Have you ever tried to drink champagne from a certificate? It smears the ink. Just read what's on the card, Ed. All right. Naira trophies. Need a trophy but too lazy to win one? Buy one from us and it'll be our little secret. Ed! Naira trophies, 892 South Clinton Avenue. If you can win it, we can reward it. Need some embroidery or some screen printing? Check out Top Notch Monogramming in Shown Place. They got it all for bags, hats, towels, you name it. They're soccer people and they'll set you straight. Top Notch. Don't worry. Nicolina's Italian Eatery, 2700 West Henrietta Road, 424-3040. Check them out. Lunch time, dinner time, great Italian food. I love this place. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. When I was a kid, I used to love playing soccer and flying my kite so much that it didn't matter that my mom used to make me wear those dorky clothes. Well, I still play soccer and I still fly my kite, but now, now I've got some killer clothes. Hundreds of new 98s have got to go. Today for Sunday at Marina Dodge, it's back. A $4 million new and used vehicle garage sale. They've all got to go. The last of over 200 new and used vehicles, every price slash. New vehicles up to $7,000 off. Used cars sacrifice from $99. Bucks. Special sale prices post. First pull or drag it in, we'll give you at least $3,000 for your trade. No credit application refused. Financing as low as 1.9% for up to 60 months. Before you buy any vehicle, see your best deal at Marina Dodge. Forget to listen to the Saco Sam radio show, baby, or I will blast you. We're still here at Tully's, 1225 Jefferson Road. Are you still Bill Cosby? No, uh, it's me, Valentine, Jimmy Stark. Valentine? Right. Now let's Jimmy go to the Rochester Sports wife. Garden with This Week in Soccer. <laughs> This Week in Soccer is brought to you by Chili Pepper Football Gear and the Rochester Sports Garden. Hi, I'm Stacey Donald. In the MPSL, our Buffalo Blizzard won six in a row, beating the Wichita Wings 13-9 in Wichita and 16-7 over Montreal. You saw it earlier. The Montreal no impact, as Soccer Sam calls them, fired their head coach soon after the game. They named Rhino coach Pat Urkeley's former teammate in Baltimore, Paul Kitson, as interim head coach. I guess their 6-18 record wasn't good enough to keep up. Upcoming Blizzard game, Sunday, February 15th, the St. Louis comes to town for a 7.05 kickoff. But get there early, the Buffalo Phillies of the W League have an exhibition game beforehand. Friday, February 20th, Philadelphia Kicks come to Buffalo at 10.35 a.m. for a school day's promotion. Take the day off work, take your kids up to see the game. On Saturday, February 21st, Buffalo goes to Cincinnati for a 7.35 p.m. kickoff. You can catch all the action on 107.7. Sunday, February 22nd, Fusini and the Detroit Rockers come to town to play the Blizzard. Maybe that's the first indoor game I'll catch. The game's at 7.05 p.m. Thursday, February 26th, Buffalo goes to Edmonton to play the Drillers at 7.05 p.m. You can catch all the action with Mike Shope on 107.7. Saturday, February 28th, the Buffalo will be at Cleveland for a 7.05 p.m. start. All you fans have to drive up to Cleveland to support our guys. For ticket information, you can call the Blizzard office at 855-4400. And now on to other Blizzard news. Chris Fox has left the Buffalo Blizzard to attend the Dallas Burn training camp. The Blizzard have signed Rick Titus, the defender from the Montreal Impact, and Thor Lee from the Anaheim Splash of a former CISL. Buffalo Blizzard's Rudy Pikasinski leads the team with 101 points. He is now 7th in the league with that mark. Rudy played his 200th game as a Blizzard last Sunday. Goalie Billy Superstar and Drecky is third in goals against average in the MPSL and second in shootout saves and penalty kick saves. The MPSL passed the 1 million mark in attendance for his sixth season in a row. The All-Star Game is Tuesday, February 17th in Cincinnati at the Crown. Sam will be there chanting, Rudy, Rudy, the buck, Rudy Pigazinski. 
This week's NPSL Player of the Week is former Rochester Rhino Bo Vukovic. You saw it earlier. He had six two-point goals and one assist versus Detroit. And Detroit's player coach, Pavel Moretic, reached his 900th career point that same game. Our Blizzard lead their division with a 16-10 record, and they are third in attendance with a 7,026 average attendance. Now, on to the A-League. No big news with the Rochester Rhinos training camp, but with the Montreal Impact firing their coach, will Valerio Pozzola be back? Hope not. The MLS continue their spring training right now, and we've sent Chris Chili Pepper Kennel down there to keep us updated on all the action. Mia Hamm won the ESPY the other night for the top female athlete, and the women's team is currently training with their under-16 counterpart. And now on to the men. Let's go to Soccer Sam with the Gold Cup report. Thanks, Stacy. What a week for our U.S. national team. First, it was Costa Rica. Check this out. Joe Max, give me some more with a corner kick here. A header. It's Eddie Pope, the U.S. Player of the Year, gets the first goal for the U.S. They're up one to nothing. We're gonna go into halftime now. Sam's Army celebrating. We got the lead so far into the second half, though. Oviedo ties it up through the legs and a goal. You better cover up your face, you ugly. Oh, I can't talk that way. U.S. needs a goal. Samson brings in Frecky for defender Marcelo Balboa at the 69 minute mark. Agus crosses it to Frecky. He does his dance in a left footed blast. It's a goal, near post, upper corner, 22 yards out. Frecky fresh off the bench. Brilliant move by Samson. US wins it two to one and goes into the semifinals against Brazil. The first half, it was the Casey and the Sunshine Band Keller Show. This guy is unbelievable. Romario can't believe Keller. Point blank saves, positioning at its finest. At halftime, it was USA, Zippo, and Brazil, Zippo. I felt that that was an accomplishment in itself. At the 55 minute mark of the second half, Roy Weggerly gets a breather, and my boy Precky comes into the game, and guess what? 10 minutes later, Lawless to Winalda, Winalda to you know who, Precky, he takes on Junior, Tefferell dives, can't get it, it's a goal, what a victory for our country, what a victory for the U.S. national team, they go to the finals of the Gold Cup, it's unreal for soccer in America, for the USA to beat Brazil, one to nothing. You gotta wear the red, white, and blue every day now, right up to the World Cup. Go to school with the red, white, and blue. Go to work with the red, white, and blue. Paint your face, paint your car red, white, and blue. Let's show these guys our support. And look at this, the Brazil coach, he's looking, oh buddy, you're gonna be out of a job soon. And then the Brazilian players, they're looking down, looking for coins. We're gonna have more later on in the show. And let's go back to Stacey. Thanks, Sam. Locally, parents, most leagues have started their registration right now. So if you haven't registered your kids, get them signed up. And if you have any soccer information for us, you can call us or fax us. I'm Stacey Donald from the Sports Garden, and you can catch me every Saturday morning with the whole Soccer Sam crew on Hot Talk 1280. Now we're going to go to one of Buffalo Blizzard's leading goal scorers, Rudy Pikasinski. He's in the other room with Racco the Barber. That guy's pretty good, I heard. Who are you now? To be Jimmy Storr. <laughs> that guy Rocco, he gives a good haircut. Don't you see it? Rudy, tell us all about you. You're from Buffalo, am I correct? Yeah, born and raised, east side of Buffalo. East side. You're a big star in Buffalo. Where did you start? Like youth league and, and in high school? Tell us all about it. Oh, when I was eight years old, my father uh, made me play soccer, and I'm very glad he did. He wouldn't let me play any other sports. You know, I'd have to play that on a slide, but uh, I'm glad that he kept me in the game, and I owe it all to him. Uh, Played uh, high school soccer at Par School, got a soccer scholarship, uh, preferred Par School to Nichols. I didn't have to wear the suit and tie at, at Par School, you know. <laughs> and uh, then played uh, my father's soccer club, White Eagle Soccer Club, uh, great amateur team, uh, won many championships there, scored some goals. Uh, then uh, went to work in a factory. Uh, then uh, met my uh, wife, been married to her 18 years. She made her, sent a resume to the Buffalo Stallions when I was working in a factory. Mm -hmm and uh, got a call at 10 training camp. And because uh, of her, I went and played with the Stallions. 
Uh, the Stallions were sold, uh, went to Canton, uh, played in Canton. Oscar Bizzano, a good friend of mine, ex-Buffalo Stallion player, called me down, said, uh, Rudy, we need some players. Went down there, and uh, I'm, I'm so glad we did. Won four championships, uh, voted MVP of the league three consecutive years. Well, Rock, uh, been married uh, to Peggy, beautiful 18 years, a beautiful girl. I wouldn't be who I am today without her. And I have a great son, Rudy the third. He's 13 uh, in eighth grade, uh, pretty good bas baseball player and uh, soccer player. Hey, Rudy. Oh, thanks. Good luck thanks and thanks. You're starting Buffalo, starting Rochester. Thank you very much. All right, thanks for having me, Rock. Okay. Hello, Sunshines. Bobby Greenfield here. The soccer. Hello, lovely. Soccer Sam will be right back. There's a ball, there's some balls. Oh my gosh, look at all those balls. Check it! Great food, good times is our motto here at Tully's. Our menu is full of great food at great prices. And the good times never stop at Tully's. Kids and adults love our game room. If you're a football fan, don't miss our Monday night football parties. And Wednesday, kids pay what they weigh. Hello? Hello? Ten and under, please. We've got a free song and a Sunday for every birthday. And Tully's has over 70 televisions. Yay! So if you can... Pitch it. Punt it. <laughs> Put it. Serve it. Jam it. Drive it. Slam it. Ride it. Then try it. Watch it here. Tully's, 1225 Jefferson Road in Rochester. I think it's a very favorable schedule. Uh, you can notice the schedule. There's uh, 14 of the 16 A League games are all on weekends. Mm -hmm. We're a little concerned, you know, when we first started playing here at Frontier. Once the baseball team came in, you know, that we might have some conflicts. But the first two years has worked out very, very well. Mm -hmm. uh, again, as I mentioned, there's 14 of the 16 on the weekends, uh, and so uh, we're, we're very, very happy with that. Baseball, basketball, soccer, Are you good enough? Are you a soccer fan? Can't get enough of the sport you love? Read Soccer America. Get the most soccer news from around the country and around the world. Call 1-800-335-GOAL to start your weekly subscription. You won't miss any of the big plays with Soccer America, MLS, U.S. national teams, college, international, interviews with the pros, scores, schedules, insight, opinion, analysis, and more. Soccer America delivers total soccer coverage every week. Call 1-800-335-GOAL to start your subscription. Call 1-800-335-GOAL now. Hey Rocco, nothing beats you know watching great goals on TV like some popcorn, mm. some music, just back, relax, and enjoy. You know, Dougie, you're absolutely right. Now let's go to the top goals of 1997. There you have it. That's it, now come back. Still has it been kicked. Donadoni takes it. Looking for the corner, he finds it. Roberto Donadoni on the set piece. The Metros lead 2 to 1. Still has it been kicked. Donadoni takes it. Looking for the corner, he finds it. Roberto Donadoni.
change to her uh, wiggly and let's we'll take, take it from here. And our own Chris Kennel does his Soccer Sam Chili Pepper character on national TV. And then he has a Coke and a smile. And don't forget, we're here at Tully's 1225 Jefferson Road every Monday night from 6 to 7 p.m. Have a great soccer weekend and a very happy Valentine's Day. And... Have some pudding and <laughs> some Coca-Cola and the Kodak film. With my wife. You did. Oh, and the five children. <laughs> Reguinalda lo marca Doriva, se acomoda, se partida para sacar el remate, la pone por el medio, para Preki, 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 engancho para la zurda, pum, 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 Working on four Brazilian players. Wijnaldum. There's Preki on his left foot. The shot, the goal! Working against the U.S. defense. Here's a chance, and Keller again got a piece of it. D. Casey Keller having to go way to his left. Full extension, one hand, parry the ball out of bounds for a corner kick. Now it is over. And the U.S. has beaten Brazil. One.